Hi everyone, thank you for taking the time to listen to this video for an introduction to the readings for January 22nd, the third Sunday after Epiphany. You may be familiar with this week's Gospel from Matthew, where Jesus begins his public ministry by calling fishers to leave their nets and follow him. Listening to God, trusting with our hearts, and following Jesus aren't always easy, but Jesus' friends who were fishermen did just that. They left their fishing nets and followed Jesus right away. They left their jobs and their daily routines deciding to follow Jesus. What would it look like if we just dropped everything to follow Jesus? It may seem impossible for us to leave everything behind, but we can choose to focus on following Jesus and loving people every single day. Our first reading comes from Isaiah chapter 9 verses 1 to 4. Chapters 1 to 33 of Isaiah were, were written probably between 740 and 700 BC, a time of political instability for Israel, Judah, Syria, and Assyria. The northern tribes of Zebulun and Naphtali experienced the gloom of defeat by Assyrian military forces. The prophet saw the nation's distress as God's punishment for the people's unfaithfulness to the covenant. Yet the prophet anticipates that eventually God will return the chosen people to joy. They are assured that their condition will be reversed when God makes a light-filled appearance. The joy they will experience will resemble celebrations of great harvests because God will deliver them from everything that diminishes or oppresses them. In this passage, the reference to Midian refers to a memory of an ancient victory against Canaanites. Our second reading comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 10 to 18. In this passage, Paul calls on the Corinthians to end their conflicts and share the unified outlook of the gospel. Discord arises when we forget that we belong not to human leaders or institutions, but to Christ. The unifying word of the cross of Christ is the center of the gospel and the power of God's salvation. We can relate this thinking to our own congregation in terms of sharing one purpose and being able to articulate a shared vision for the future. In Sunday's reading, Paul reminds the Corinthian Christians and us how important it is for groups to share a common purpose. Now I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you be in agreement and that there be no divisions among you but that you be united in the same mind and the same purpose. Paul even offers the reminder that when there is no shared purpose, people tend to argue over trivi trivial things. And our gospel for Sunday comes from Matthew chapter 4, verses 12 to 23. As mentioned earlier, we find Jesus calling disciples from their nets to fish for people. Matthew refers to Jesus as the great light and stresses the immediacy of the fisherman's obedience to Jesus' call. Jesus' call is to repentance. In Jesus, the kingdom of God has come near. We who have walked in darkness have seen a great light. We see this light most profoundly in the cross as God suffers with us and all who are oppressed by sickness, sin, or evil. Light dawns for us as we gather around the word, the font, and the holy table. We are then sent to share the good news that others may be caught in the net of God's grace and mercy. Thank you for spending some time listening in and preparing your heart for the week ahead. Love God. Love all people. Be well. <laughs>